Now, how can you know that you're ready to be in a relationship? The first thing you need to understand is you don't go into a relationship because you are pressured. You don't go into a relationship because you see cute couple pictures online. You don't go into a relationship because family is, you know, giving you when will you marry. You don't go into a relationship because you are seeing cute relationship quotes online. It's because a relationship can either make or mar you, right? I know we don't think about, we don't think deep sometimes about this thing, but it's the truth. Sometimes we go online and then you see someone coming to say, I got into a relationship and then all of a sudden my life changed for, you know, for the worse, right? And then you see some other people say, oh, I met this person and then boom, suddenly everything changed. This is why you need to be able to tell that you are ready for a relationship. And this is what I'll be covering in today's video. How can you know that you are ready to be in a relationship? Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Of course, it's welcome if you are seeing my face for the very first time. My name is Ore and you're welcome to journey with Ore. On this channel, I talk about Christian relationship. I talk about lifestyle, Christian lifestyle, and I talk about faith. If you're yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have subscribed to my YouTube channel and you've not clicked on the notification bell, you need to do that because that's the way you know that I have released a video, okay? And also, please, my amazing and returning subscribers, please make sure that we go into the habit of liking videos, okay? So that YouTube can recommend it to um, other people. Yeah, let's go straight into today's video without wasting so much of your time. First way you can know that you are ready to be in a relationship or ready for a relationship is to have the desire you know when we are hungry we also i feel like we feel it that we are hungry and then we go to get food when you want to you know um go to the toilet or the restroom you feel that there is a need for you to go there it's the same thing for relationship you need to be able to have the desire to be in a relationship if you do not have the desire to be in a relationship and someone comes to meet you to say i like you i want us to be in a relationship you can easily tell the person i'm not in that state i don't feel this is the time for me to be in a relationship i don't see myself being in a relationship now because you know that you are not ready at the moment you don't feel the urge it's just like somebody coming to give me a food that I do not want to eat. Or somebody coming to give me a food when I don't feel like eating. I will not eat that food at that time. That's the truth. There's a difference when you have the hunger. There's a difference where you can feel the passion. You want it. You are, you, there's the urge for it, right? Then someone just bringing it across your face. You might not really value it. That's the side effect of it. If you just tell a guy, yes, um, I'm ready for you. When you are actually not ready, when the desire is not there, you might not feel the relationship and you can just you know a time will come when you, know, you just feel like the relationship is not at its best. And then you leave just because that desire was not there, right? The second way you can know that you're ready to be in a relationship is if you are emotionally stable. Now, emotionally stable. You need to be emotionally stable to be in a relationship too. Even being in a relationship, you need to be emotionally stable. And that's because you are going to meet someone. You are going to be sharing your life, your feelings, everything with someone. It's not always God when in relationship. There is a down part of being in a relationship. So you need to be able to check. Have I taken off the emotional baggage that I'm carrying? Have I dealt with my past experiences? Am I ready to stay with this person through? Thick and thin. Now, thick and thin is not that they are emotionally abusing you or they are physically abusing you. No, like there are times in a relationship where you yourself you are going through life, and your your partner, your potential partner is also going to be going through life. So, are you ready for that state? Are you ready to be in the relationship during those phase? Right. So that's what you need to check. The third one I'll be mentioning is self awareness. Self awareness. Before you go into a relationship, you need to be able to understand that you know yourself. Do I know myself? Do I know my values? Do I know my boundaries? Do I know my own needs? Right? Do I know my own needs? This is going to help you when you get into the relationship. It's just like going to a university without having a goal at the back of it. It's like you don't know whether you want to graduate to the third class or a pass or a two one. So you need to go into a relationship with I know what I want, right? Now you're not going to be working with your partner's self-awareness because you know yourself then you can go into a relationship and tell your partner that okay these are my values these are my boundaries these are my needs knowing your value and your needs and being self-aware is not just for yourself you need to be able to communicate it to your potential partner right so that before the start of the relationship or before you guys actually even proceed you're able to tell this person this is the line i cannot cross this is the line I cannot, this is what I can do. This is what I can take. 
it's just going to give you a clear picture you don't want to go into a relationship without you know knowing yourself a way that you can know that you're ready for a relationship is if you are ready for communication hey this is really interesting and this is really a, 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 a this is something that you know i find really interesting communication you know sometimes you know i read some quote and i see something like oh i'm the type of person that i'm not the calling type i'm not the video call type i have i can decide not to talk to my partner for like 10 days two weeks i don't understand why then did you go into a relationship yes why then did you go into a relationship because if you know that you are ready that's why i said that we need to know it's not just the god when you need to know that you are ready for communication you need to know that you are ready for receiving feedbacks you need to know they are ready for you no know, you know communication is not just i want to talk to you communication is i want you are, you are able to listen to me communication is i'm able to listen to you communication is even when i don't feel like talking i can tell you i don't feel like talking today it means i can still express myself to you so you need to understand that it's beyond just being in a relationship you need to know that i'm ready to start communicating i'm ready to see from his point of view I'm ready to have open communication. I'm ready to be transparent. There is no point going into a relationship if you're not going to be transparent. Mm. There's no point going into a relationship if you're not going to be accountable to this person. Because I say a lot of things online and I'm like, I don't understand. You go into a relationship and I feel like you can't tell your partner that you're going out or you're coming in or you're going somewhere. I don't get it. You need to... <laughs> I don't know where the accent came from. But you need to know that you are ready to communicate. You're ready to listen are ready to accept other perspectives different from yours okay now another way that you can check that you're ready to be in a relationship is independence independent are you independent are you do you enjoy your own company are you comfortable in your own company right are you able to do things by yourself are you able to do things that interest you by yourself are you able to make friends outside your relationship are you able to do things by yourself own yourself enjoy your company without your partner there so if your partner is not there or if you do, if you do not you know if you are not speaking with your partner are you able to execute things are you able to execute things by yourself do you stay in your own company and enjoy your own company or you feel like no 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 i can't i cannot do anything by myself i have to live with this person if this person does not speak to me 24 7 i cannot breathe i cannot walk can you do things yourself you have things that interest you personally that you do by yourself. Are you independent in your own self? Like, are you all? The Bible says a man and a woman shall come together. Two shall become one. Two. What does that mean? One old person, another old person becoming one. So, allness means that you are independent by yourself. You are by yourself enjoying your own company. Next way you can know that you are ready for a relationship is if you are ready for commitment. Commitment looks like a very big word, but in, its, in, in, in a layman word, it means that are you ready to invest time, effort, energy into that relationship? Look at it again and listen again. Are you ready to invest time, effort, and energy? And energy. <laughs> because relationship is going to take energy. Are you ready to be committed? Are you ready to put investment in it? You know, some, sometimes people will say, don't put all your egg in one basket. Right? I don't agree. I do not agree to that quote, like, especially when it comes to relationship, relationship, not saving, mm -hmm. relationship. Are you ready to invest in one person? Are you ready to put your egg inside one basket? This is a Christian um, dating way. This is a Christian dating way. Are you ready for such a commit? Are you ready for such in a relationship? Are you ready to prioritize, you know, your partner's need? Are you ready to prioritize, okay, the relationship in itself? Are you ready to do that? Are you ready to make sure that this relationship works? Not when they're abusing you or when not when it's a bad relationship. I hope that makes sense. But are you ready to be committed to one person? One person. Are you ready for that? If you're not ready to commit, stay away from relationship. Stay away from relationship. That way you can know that you're ready for a relationship is if you have moved on from your past experiences. Right? Have you learned what you need to learn from your past experience? Especially if you've had an ex before. Did you learn one or two things from there? What you learned, can you make sure that it does not like repeat itself again in this new relationship? Are there baggages that are carrying from the past relationship that you need to dump before going into a new relationship? 
are there things that you need to discuss with your partner right your potential partner i'm saying partner i need to understand that i'm talking to people that are going into relationships not people that are already in a relationship so you need to understand that are there things that you need to discuss with your partner are there unresolved issues that you need to discuss with your potential partner are there things that you need to you know to to trash before going into a relationship let's move on another way you can know that you are ready to be in a relationship is if you guys are compatible compatibility are you guys compatible that's a very good question a very good question that you need to ask yourself this person coming to ask me how are we compatible do our values align do our visions align do our purpose align a friend of mine would say that you know if a fire marries a water right that the vision is going to quench that it's going to be like fire is to grisha grisha is going to quench but a fire has to marry a petrol <laughs> i don't know where she gets things like that from but fire has to marry a petrol like if that makes sense like it, it, they have to keep the flames burning your vision align as this person a child of god is this person from your, your tribe and if you're meaning tribe i don't mean like um you know where you are from christian tribe she gets are you guys compatible in that area do you guys see things scripturally the way scripture explains it basically this will help you to understand and see whether you're actually this person that is coming to meet you is actually right for you because you, you need to be able to see that am i seeing what i want in this person am i seeing what i want in this person this person writes to be like a partner for me these are the things that you need to check are we compatible now the last point um i'll be talking about if i bring this video to an end is your life circumstances like where are you in life do you think you are ready to be in a relationship in the sense that have you looked at like your personal goals do you think it's in a good place have you looked like your career do you think it's in a good place have you looked like have you looked at your finances do you think it's in a good place for you to focus on building any relationship because the truth is <laughs> if you go into a relationship and there's one part of your life that is not really balanced like there's one part of your life that you feel like you want to really focus on let's say for instance you want to focus on your career your relationship life might suffer that's because you're like i really need to get my career and so i don't even want to be talk calling anybody i'm not in the states to call anybody you just need to understand where you are at in life honestly you need to understand where you are at in life am i in the face where i feel like i'm ready for a relationship right am i in the face where i just want to focus on my career there's nothing bad in saying that you just want to focus on your career you just want to focus on your personal goals you just want to focus on you know your um your finances before going into a relationship that just means that you know yourself you are self-aware you know what you want to focus on you know what you want to build if you go into a relationship and you are focusing more you're placing more attention on one the other is just the other one is going to suffer and you're going to make your potential partner suffer for whatever thing you are building so you need to ask yourself these questions right so those are the questions you need to ask yourself before going into a relationship um let me know what you think in the comment section if there are any other thing that i've not mentioned or any other thing that you know one should look out for before going into a relationship please leave that in the comment section i'll see you guys in my next video